sat in the balcony of your mansion and was thinking about what happened a few minutes back by remembering it tears could not stop themselves hiding inside your eyes and dropping out of your eyes did i make anything wrong by marrying jungkook you wiped your tears with the back of your right palm then why did she say those things to me you just look at the sky while trying to find the answers for your questions who is that wyan a deep pet coated with suspicion tone hit your ears making you flinch slightly but this was the voice you need most at that moment jungkook you wiped your tears immediately and turned at him after standing up from the couch What happened to you? Why were you crying earlier? Even though you tried to hide your pain, he would easily find it because he knows you well. No, Jungkook, I just remembered about my parents. I'm sorry. I forgot that you're coming today. Let me cook food for you. You tried to divert the topic and was about to leave, but Jungkook held your arm and pulled you to him. Where are you going? I came after one week and you didn't let me hug you. Jungkook took you close to him and hugged you as he was missing your heavenly hug so badly. Me too, Jungkook. You immediately hugged him and burst out on his chest as you felt that warmth to open up your heart. Ryan, again crying. Please say anything happened to you? Did anyone say anything? Tell me. I will not spare them who are makes you cry. He said tightening his hug as his heart was clenching for seeing your tears which he hates the most. No chunk of don't get angry. I was just missing you. I missed your presence and hugs. Even though it was 99% true, there was one person that you were crying over some other reason. Oh, my princess, I'm sorry. Even I was missing you badly. Come, come sit here first. He kissed on your forehead and broke the kiss. As he was missing you, sit beside him on the couch. You sat beside your mafia husband, who became your goal, happiness, and everything, and rested your head on his shoulder, as if missed being close with him all these days. I'm really sorry, as this mission was so important, I couldn't be able to come. But I'm promising I will never repeat it. He said, blinking his hand with tears. Jungkook genuinely felt those and he really tried his best to come early but he couldn't because of the important mission. It's okay, I can feel you and I'm fine now. You said rubbing your thumb finger on the back of Jungkook's palm. Ryan, you know how much I missed you. Even though I was absent near you, my mind was present near you. Every minute you flash in front of me. Jungkook said caressing your hair with his right hand as you held his left hand. Why do you love your mate that much Jungkook? You would have got someone 10 times better than me. The words which you tried to be suppressed inside you came out unexpectedly. Mate, you quickly looked at him as you understood. He got angry for your words. I mean, what made you love me so much, Jungkook? A girl who didn't get her parents' love deserved your love, which is not measurable. Jungkook was understanding from where these words coming, but before that, he wants to clear your mind. First, don't say you're made because the day I saw you, my heart was already fixed. You were the queen of my heart and mine. and might not get your parents love but it doesn't mean you don't deserve my love you are a perfect and precious woman to me and my love is tiny in front of your love that you have for me jungkook just melted your heart that you badly want to cry hugging him but you cannot because he doesn't like seeing tears in your eyes you might not cry but he can feel your pain Love you, Jungkook. You smiled at him, controlling your tears. Where he cupped your face and planted a kiss on your forehead. One year ago, 
It was midnight and the city was raining heavily where people didn't even dare to step out from their houses. But the ruler of that country stepped out to haunt his enemies who tried to him a few days back. Two black ones were stopped in the middle of Seoul city and positioned opposite each other. A man with gym fit body got down and slid the door of the van holding an open umbrella to protect his master, who was a ruler of the country from the rain. Move aside. He gestured his bodyguard to step aside with an umbrella as he wanted to drench in rain. He was a ruler of South Korea, the great John Jungkook who was a mafia king and also a successful businessman. He was a man of two shades as he has both soft and hard hearts. And he was an example of gentleman where everyone attracts to him and also afraid of him. Hey Jungkook, even if you there are many people who are waiting to see your he was one of enemies of Jungkook who tried to him a few days ago. I said, then I will meet you in hell soon. Goodbye, Jackson. Jungkook shot Jackson at his point block by saying a single sentence as he doesn't like wasting time on unnecessary discussions. Send his body to the cops and you know right what should be said to them. Jungkook said and looked at Mark who was his right hand as he deals this kind of matters. Don't worry boss, I will take care of it. Jungkook smoked at Mark evilly as he caught his point instantly. He was always impressed by Mark's work and intelligence. Good Mark Jungkook winked at Mark lowering his glasses and turned at the car to step inside. What's that noise? Jungkook heard sobs of a female and followed the direction from the side. The sound was coming. Who are you? Jungkook's eyes landed on a figure who sat on the roadside tree. She was trembling a lot as she was drenching in rain from long time. Um, well, before you say anything, you fainted and fell in arms of Jungkook as he quickly kneeled down to hold you. Mark. As Mark understood what Jungkook called him, he quickly brought the umbrella and put it over you to stop your drenching in rain. Jungkook immediately took out his blazer and wrapped around you. Open the car door. Jungkook lifted you in his arms and put you in the car. He did not know what was happening to him. This was the first time he was scared for any women. When Jungkook's eyes landed on you, his heart started feeling something for you. He felt pain to see you trembling as fully soaked in rain and could not even able to open your mouth. Maybe your entry would turn his life permanently. Turn on the heater. Jungkook ordered his driver while rubbing your palm as he was trying to bring you normal. As heater was turned on, it was giving warmth to your body and slowly trembles started fading away. But Jungkook was little nervous about you. He had questions like why he was concerned about you when you were nothing to him. While the ride was going on, Jungkook couldn't take off his eyes from you. By seeing you, he was feeling you were connected to his heart so close. You rested your head on his shoulder as you didn't have consciousness. Who are you to me? Why am I worried about you? He thought to himself looking at you where his guards were also surprised by his behavior. Soon Jungkook reached his mansion, he carried you in his arms and was taking you to the bedroom. The person who was his best friend named Nali frowned as she saw Jungkook carrying you. Jungkook, what happened? Call the doctor immediately. Jungkook told to Mark and didn't even answer her and went upstairs, taking you where? She was looking at him annoyed. Mark, who was she? She asked looking at Jungkook who was so concerned about you. Don't know ma'am, we found her beside the road. He replied to her and went to the other side to call the doctor. 
Why is he so concerned about roadside beggar? She clenched her jaw and went upstairs after putting fake concern expression on her face. Jungkook was walking back and forth as he was waiting for the doctor. He put the room in heat mode to give warmth to you. He was so nervous that he scared what if something bad happens to you. Jungkook what happened? Why are you so worried about roadside beggar? She came inside saying this but Jungkook looked at her angrily for her last two words. Use better words Nali. He said and pushed her aside gently as the doctor came inside of the room. Doctor, check her. The doctor nodded and checked you. Junko couldn't even blink his eyes as he was just looking at your pale and attractive face which rested by closing eyes. Nothing to worry about Mr. Junko. She has a fever. Give her these medicines and take her temperature for every hour. I have given her anesthesia. When she woke up, give her warm soups and these medicines. Doctor said and left Jungkook's mansion. Jungkook arranged maids to take care of you and came to his mansion rooftop as the rain stopped, where Nali also followed him. Jungkook, can I ask you something? What's that? He replied, looking at the sky, where she stood behind him with a few meters of distance. Why are you so concerned about her? We don't know about her and I never saw you concerned for anyone this much. She asked as she wants to know Jungkook's real intentions. I don't know. I just feel like she is so close to me even though I saw her for the first time. I feel like we already knew for many years. She clenched her fist as she couldn't take Jungkook's started feeling for you because she loves him. I think you are thinking too much. Don't think about her too much. It would not be good for your health. She said and left from there where Jungkook understood her intention as he knew she was loving him. But Jungkook always and will only treat her just as a friend. Jungkook inquired about you and got to know you escaped from a big shot as your parents sold to him for money. Slowly your health became well and started working in Jungkook's mansion. He used to be happy to see you daily in front of him. In that process, you both fell in love with each other, but Nali, who loves Jungkook, sent her father to talk with him about marriage. But Jungkook rejected her, saying he was loving you, and then he married you. At present, Jungkook, who remembered his past, but have you met and came to the bedroom to sleep with his beloved wife after so many days. But he was surprised to see you sleeping already because you never sleep without hugging him for saying goodnight. What happened to Vyan? He came near you and saw your tears stained cheek and started doubting about your behavior. But he didn't awake you and laid beside you after kissing your forehead. He slowly pulled you closer to him by your waist and hugged you. Even though he knew you are acting like sleeping, he didn't say anything to you. Next morning, you were preparing breakfast for Jungkook as he wanted to go to the office today. Then you saw Mark who came to take water bottle from the fridge. Mark, one minute. Yes, ma'am. He stood there, lowering his head as he knew you would ask for a favor. Please don't say what happened yesterday adhere to Jungkook. If he knew, he would not leave Nali. Okay, Mark, and you deleted the footage when she came here, right? Before Mark replies, he heard a voice. So you made him delete the footage? Why didn't you tell me about Nali? Jungkook asked you stepping in the kitchen while fixing his wristwatch. Jungkook, you are ready. Please sit. I will serve your breakfast. You tried to avoid his question and his gaze, but he grabbed your shoulder and made you look at him straight. What did Nali say? Tell me why. And if you really love me, then say it now. Tears slowly started building in your eyes, which was clenching his heart. One day ago, 
You are reading book by sitting in the living room. Then Ali came inside your house, screaming your name. Vayan, Vayan. What happened, Ali? What do you want? You are standing up from the couch as she came near you, along with her other two friends. Girl, she is the wife of Jungkook, who was his maid once. She said sarcastically, laughing at you, where you looked at her seriously for calling you maid. Nali, what is this? You asked her, raising your voice, but soon she cut off you. Did I say anything wrong? Jungkook brought you while you were begging on the roadside and married you. You did black magic on him and made him yours. But me here loving him for many years didn't get him. I will say it again, you don't deserve him. You are getting hurt for her words but could not raise your voice over her. And somewhere you feel you are made to Jungkook. You know Nali loves Jungkook but he doesn't love her and treated her as a friend. Just look at yourself. You didn't even have a personality to stand beside him, such a maid who pursued her owner. Listen, soon I will make Jungkook mine and will throw you on the roads again. She smirked at you evilly and left from there with her friends. Mark, whom Jungkook put you in house for your safety while he was going on a mission, heard everything what Nali said and looked at you as if shedding tears. Ma'am, don't tell Jungkook about this. You left your room as you not have a point to defend, of course. Those were your only thoughts you have at the time. So, that's why you're crying and lied to me. How dare she come to my house and insults my wife? She should apologize to you, Vyan. Jungkook grabbed your hand and was taking out of his mansion with him, even though you insist him to stop. Nali, Nali, come out. Jungkook and you came to her house and he was calling her by standing in the living room. Jungkook, she heard his voice and came to him immediately and saw you beside him which made her understood everything. What did you say to my wife? Jungkook was so furious. His veins were popping out as he was so angry at his best friend for calling you maid. I said the right name. She is your maid who pursued her owner, which was you. She said recklessly, folding her hands in smirk, which pissed Jungkook. If one more word comes out of your mouth, I will forget that you are my friend once. Jungkook raised his hand over her and warned her where she was afraid of him immediately. Jungkook, I'm your best friend, so what? Who gave you the right to insult my wife? If someone is in your place, they would have got nice treatment from me. She gulped with fear and stepped back. Listen, Wyan is queen of my heart and queen of my empire. She is not like you. She isn't selfish, rude and arrogant like you. Maybe that's why I didn't connect to you even though you love me. It was the past that you loved me. Now I have married to Wyan and only she has rights over me. If you try to harm her again, then I will forget that you are my friend. Understand? Now apologize to my wife. Jungkook wrapped his hand around your waist and pulled you close to him gently. No, sorry. She glared at you and left to her room where Jungkook looked at her, clenching his other hand. Jungkook, calm down. Let's go from here. I don't feel like standing here anymore. He immediately calmed his anger and took out from her house. You came near Jungkook with glass of water and sat beside him on the couch. Jungkook, let it go. Don't think about her. How can I not think about her? I forgave her many times even though she crossed her limits but now she insulted my wife. You put the glass in his hand where he immediately gulped down. What's wrong in it Jungkook? She wasn't right. I'm your maid, isn't it? 
I think you wouldn't have got married her because I don't have status and personality like her. She wasn't right that she deserves you. He immediately looked at you concerned. So you are feeling the same that way you didn't defend yourself. You remained silent as he sighed and cubed your face. I never treated you as maid wife. The day I saw you, I fixed you the love of my life. You worked even though I insisted that you do not work. Listen, Wyan, you have more valuable things than her. Your kindness, your honesty, your understanding nature, and moreover, your love, which always mesmerizes me. Personality is something which defines you, not looks, Wyan. For me, you are the most beautiful woman I have ever seen. Okay, from next, defend yourself. You are my love and world, Wyan. He wiped your tears and kissed on your eyes. Love you, Jungkook. You kissed on forehead as you felt most lucky in the world to get him as your husband. Ryan, I will erase your pain now. He slowly pressed his lips on yours to erase all the pain you feeling at that moment. Thanks for watching.